Good morning. It is January the 1st, 2023, and a great and blessed new year for everyone. I'm going to get right into this word for 2023. Um, there's a lot of instructions, directions for us in this word, um, and so let me just get started with it. You are about to experience a shift. This shift will cause you to see how things are being transformed into completion about the adversary's plans to overtake. There's, there are things in the atmosphere on the horizon that are coming swiftly. This shift will unleash an unholy presence causing much turmoil in the atmosphere. Over well, weather and water, the two will mix and cause a breakdown in the soil for the crops will not yield its harvest. Many farmers will suffer because of this. I'm bringing about change as we move forward with the ability to transform stock and revenue. I'm placing others to move forward into recovery. The stock market, when the enemy calls it to crash, the plunder will be felt around the world. I'm releasing my people to recover many as these events take place. Many of our people won't know what to do, but I have established those to lead them into recovery. These events will lead many to, uh, to seek my face out of fear. My leaders need to speak peace. I'm not in fear. I will cover those who are trusting me. Those who are looking to me. Keep your eyes open about this coming crisis and how many will suffer the loss of revenue. I have a counter plan to recover those that are following me. I will bring them into my rest and give them a plan to recover. Stay focused in the areas of doubt. My people doubt my power. They doubt my leading many into a safe place in me. I'm calling all warriors to rise up and pray to bring about change and speak peace to the hearts of my people. I'm not in fear. Continue to pray as always. Keep your focus in prayer. I want to bring understanding in the form of commitment. Many of my people must commit to me. I have many things to release to my people, but I desire commitment. 2023 will be the beginning of much sorrow and release. I'm bringing about a turnaround for goods. I'm bringing my chosen ones into an area of stability and aid in the form of wealth. Many will come into property, land, and revenue in order to secure areas of concern. I'm desiring to cover every need that my people will have. I have waited long enough. It is time now to release the goods to my people, to allow them security. It is out of my love for my people that I am releasing my best. Don't be concerned about how, about how. Many things are taking place. I have all needs secured. Everything that I'm desiring to move into the hands of my chosen ones. I will release in my timing. I'm not holding anything back. I'm completing all that's necessary to bring aid to many of my people. Trusting my process will be a must. I have opened doors to many in the form of opportunities to deliver instructions about the current events and how many will need instructions to move forward. This is not the time for my leaders to lose heart, but to come closer to me in prayer and allow me to fill their cups full. The work ahead is plentiful, 
and necessary in order to bring my people to completion to wholeness. There's no time for complacency, but to commit to me for battle, prayer and sacrifice to prayer. Prayer and sacrifice to pray are needed. These, there's no time to waste. These events are at hand, and the time is now. Come closer, even closer to me. There's much to release, much work to be done. The time is now. And so before we had talked about uh, the things that would happen in 2023 and how we are to continue to cover the farmers. Because when they, re when they lose revenue and lose their livelihood and how they take care of their families and their livestock, they're going to need aid. They're going to need uh, solutions. So that's what we're coming into uh, agreement with is prayer for aid and solutions. We're also hearing Father God saying about the uh, release of revenue, that he's um, bringing about land, property, and uh, m monetary monies for us to aid and have the solution for many different areas. We also talked about in the last video about Father God putting key people in place that will be able to take, uh, to, to raise the stock market back up once it falls. Now we don't have any control of this through prayer, but what we have control of is praying that each person that Father God is putting in position for whichever area to cover, we need to be praying that these people are hearing the voice of God and they're able to be in position as God is calling them to be so. Also, we are in need to understand that God said it's, it's my timing. It's in my ways. And so with him saying that, we we don't want to go before God. We want to always be in prayer and waiting for him to speak. This is why it's so necessary that the prophets right now are speaking what thus saith the Lord, not uh, considering raising themselves up to be seen by man, but to be raising the voice of God up to be heard by man. Father God sends his prophets all the time to warn, to protect, to give uh, instructions, to aid in different areas. This is what the prophets are in uh, need, needing to be doing in this hour. We're, we shouldn't be building platforms for ourselves. That is not uh, the heart of God. We should be speaking to God's people about what's coming, about how to uh, pray over that, that particular thing and how we can aid each other in this process. God is bringing about a change in the area of uh, the great wealth transfer as we have been speaking. And the only way that this uh, transfer can uh, come to realization is that we're praying. And we're praying over key areas. Not only that the people that God is choosing to put the land and property and revenue into their hands, we need to be praying that these people are ready to receive it. That their hearts are open to receive the great wealth transfer is setting uh, those of us up to be the solution. Remember, we are the solution. We are bringing aid and uh, uh, in, in, uh, uh, solution, uh, aid solutions, uh, innovations, uh, witty inventions. These are the things that we're going to be bringing to the table in these days to come. All of this year, Father God will be releasing instructions and he will be releasing um, uh, I'm trying to think of the word instructions and directions. I'm sorry. He will be releasing directions. And so what we need to be doing is really waiting on Father God to speak. Uh, I'm not trying to boast myself, but we really need to be uh, connected to prophets in this hour that are speaking solutions, instructions, and direction. From this year on out, we need to be hearing the voice of God through his chosen prophets. Everybody's not going to be speaking that what thus said the Lord. They have their own motives. These particular ones we need to really stray away from. 
This is an hour that is that where we need to know that we're hearing the voice of God. At every uh, turn, we need to know how to pray, what to look forward to when it releases, how to get it, because there's going to be things that's going to be released. If you don't know where to be at the certain time to receive it, you're going to miss it. That, this is why Father God is calling the watchmen to, st to step up and commit themselves. He talked again earlier in this video about commitment. We have to be committed. Our hearts have to be fully appliable to Father God and how he wants to use each and every one of us uh, throughout these processes. He said that the turmoil is coming, but that through all of it, he has a solution. We are the solution, and many of us that he is putting in pos different positions to bring about change for all of his people. We're opening doors, uh, 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 walking through doors. God is opening them, but we're walking through doors. There's opportunities that are submitting themselves everywhere. I have talked about many of us getting our passports. We will be traveling. There will be land bought overseas, land bought in America. There's things that has to be in place in order for the security and the safety and care for God's people. No more of this selfish, long range, long ranger type spirit. No more for that. This is about kingdom. We're moving into a kingdom mandate in this hour. And all of it is about kingdom uh, pupils, God's people, his beloved. This is where our focus is. And so as I'm trying to close up with this video, I think it's very important that we look at the key uh, components in this video and the last one that I did in 2022, uh, December of 20, uh, 2022 that we really take those key notes to heart and begin to process them and pray. The great wealth transfer is happening this year. Uh, it will unfold over some time. It won't come at once. It will uh, unfold over some time, over this year and probably the next seven years. But what we need to be doing is listening for the voice of God, with instructions and direction because he's speaking to us. He is releasing things to his prophets. Um, the uh, I, I had said there's a mantle of teaching uh, that will rest upon many of us because we're in an hour of teaching. We're in an hour of gathering. We're in an hour of speaking full uh, truth about uh, true salvation, true deliverance, true healing. The... the, the um, <clears throat> Part of the wealth transfer this year would be more uh, on a greater level that we would be able to see signs, wonders, and miracles. No, there won't be fake sign wonders and miracles, but we will actually see the power and glory of God move in his uh, selected uh, uh, people because he can't trust everybody with his glory. We have misused his glory for, for far too long. So now he's only given his glory to so to those selected few that he knows in this uh, season that will run for him and not follow another voice or another uh, religion, but only him. And so what we're doing is we're building up a kingdom of people that are spirit first and flesh second. This is the this has been the problem over quite some time. We have not realized that we are a, we're foreigners in this land. We are spirit beings first in a flesh body. We're uh, a sojourners passing through. And so if we keep that in mind, we know that we have to lean and trust on God even the more. We have to uh, lean and trust on true prophets, the word that God is speaking to them even the more. There's much direction. There's much instructions. They're coming. Look for me to come in um, the near of uh, days to come to release more instructions and more direction about uh, uh, the wealth transfer and, and different things uh, that would have to do with the disasters that are coming and how we are to aid and help in whichever ways that we're able to. The more we're trusted with things 
in this hour, the more we're seen trusted, the more God will give to us. There's so much that he wants to release in abundance. We are to be wealthy in different ways, very wealthy. But he has to be able to trust us individually and collectively to release this, this, this type of wealth in many ways. Not just in monetary monies, uh, uh, land and, and property, but also in giftings. There's giftings that needs to rise up in us to a level that the signs, wonders, and miracles, as we walk, we will see uh, things happen in the grocery stores, on our workplace, uh, at the, uh, the gas station. We shall be seeing great signs and wonders uh, and miracles uh, as we are obedient and listening to the voice of God. When he say move, move. When he say stop, stop. If you're not to speak at that place, don't speak at that place. Obedience and commitment in this hour would be would be a. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of something grand. It would be like the cream of la cream, the cream of la cream. You know, it's it it was it's going to be grand to be committed and submitted, because many things will be uh, released as we are submitted and committed. Um, I've been on here going on 17 minutes. I'm trying to go ahead and close. But I'm asking that many of you continue to share my videos. I hate to keep asking to uh, like and subscribe. But one thing I am going to ask, if many of you are hearing the voice of God, if he is speaking directions and instructions to you, they may be different from mine. I want to hear those uh, things so that I'm on a board with you as well in praying and seeking God on behalf of what he's giving you. This is a uh, this is a um, community effort. It's not a long ranger effort, an individual, but a community, a, a congregated effort for all of us to get on board. That we're all secure in God, we're all covered in God, and we're all safe in His care. Uh, Psalms ninety eight. We need to get back to understanding that this kingdom mandate. There's no more time uh, to play. Uh, long Ranger. There's no more time for uh, it's my ministry. It's I. It's myself. Um, those days are over. It is commitment. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Prayer, intercession, fasting, and listening to the voice of God is where we are right now. And we're going to see some wonderful things happening in the body of uh, Jehovah. W way different from what's going on in the world. But we're going to have to do it God's way and only his way. But so until the next video, I want to thank you and many blessings in this year as we're waiting to see what God is doing and saying as he leads us through this year on into 2024. So until the next video, be blessed.